Please be seated. Distinguished guests, members of the platform party, fellow faculty members, graduating students of the class of 1919, 2019, I just wanted to see if you're awake, and you're not yet, you're still too stiff, but this is a joyous occasion. Parents, family, and friends, it's my privilege to welcome all of you to the 2019 Indiana University School of Dentistry Commencement Ceremony. I'm John Williams, Dean of the Indiana University School. This ceremony marks the graduation of our students completing the dental assisting, the dental hygiene, doctor of dental surgery, and postdoctoral programs. This is our 141st commencement ceremony. Let's hear it for 141 years of activity. And this is a time the university is celebrating its bicentennial uh, year, 200 years of uh, commitment and service to the state of Indiana and beyond, that the School of Dentistry is celebrating 140 years, and you saw uh, as part of the um, preamble the display of uh, 140 reasons to love IUSD, and the campus is celebrating 50 years. So it's a series, a tri a trifecta or a tripartite of, um, of celebrations. Commencement is the most special in, in event of the School of Dentistry. The occasion marks the crowning achievement of our students assembled before us and more significantly marks their new beginning as members of the oral health care profession. It's also a day to give thanks to the families of our graduates. As families, you have guided your loved ones to accept a dual career of a university education and a life of service in the healthcare profession. The families of our graduates have made sac great sacrifices allowing the men and women we are honoring today the opportunity to pursue their education, graduate, and enter professional life. Perhaps most importantly, many of our fam family members have been constantly present to provide the gifts of understanding, support, and love during the challenging times the students have encountered as part of their journey through the academic years. It's also especially appropriate that it's Mother's Day weekend, and I'd like to acknowledge uh, all of the parents, beginning with the mothers, would ask you to stand so we might recognize you. The other parents, other family members, please stand in the audience. Please be seated. We give a special thanks to the students seated before us. The graduates selected to study the dental sciences at IU. And it's a privilege for professors and clinical faculty to teach intelligent, dedicated, ambitious, and hardworking students. Students, because of your tenacity and your perseverance, you met the challenges that your instructors required in the classroom the laboratory, and the clinic. Our entire IUSD family will watch with great pride as you move forward and begin your practice of attending to the oral health care needs of the citizens of Indiana and well beyond. The faculty and staff have worked very hard to prepare you to meet these challenges so that you may continue successfully on the path of lifelong learning. I now invite the School of Dentistry faculty seated behind me and staff who are both on the stage and, and within the audience to please stand and be recognized for your tenacity, hard work in healthcare education, research, service, and patient care. Faculty, please. And staff members. Please be seated. Graduates, the degrees and certificates we confer upon you today carry with them privileges, but also attendant responsibilities. You are beginning your careers as oral health 
professionals, providing you the opportunity to contribute to, the one, to one of the most distinguished forms of public service that exist in our society. And as Dean, it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you to the lifelong fellowship enjoyed uniquely by professionals in all of the healthcare professions. I would also like to acknowledge the fifth cohort of students graduating from our international dentist program. Strategic globalization is one of IU President McRobbie, Michael McRobbie's key priorities moving toward the bicentennial in 2020. IU School of Dentistry has a very rich history in international student education through our graduate and postgraduate programs. In 2013, we established the International Dentist Program for men and women who are dentists in their home countries and wish to become licensed to practice in the United States. Hailing from many countries and varied backgrounds, you have spent more than two years with us, completing training that allows you to practice in the U.S. This education will enable you to provide unique contributions to the worldwide oral health profession. In the front of your program are listed the honors and awards recipients of the various degree and certificate programs. These honors and awards were officially presented to deserving students last night at the school's annual awards program. In addition, several individuals were unable to be with us and I would like to acknowledge them uh, before the audience this evening and would invite them as they come across the stage to receive their uh, diploma. You will also receive the certificate that you didn't receive last evening, so you have a, a dual uh, duty. Uh, Carrie Benjamin, the recipient of the American Academy of Oral Medicine. Uh, Christopher Gisler, the American Academy of Gold Foil Operators. Uh, Abigail Jumak, the International Dentist Program Dean Citation. Uh, Yoli Lee, Student Research Honors uh, Program Certificate of Achievement and Richard J. Stewart, the American Association of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery Dental Implant Stewart, a Student Award. It is now my pleasure to welcome Dr. Stephen Rasmussen, President of the Indiana University School of Dentistry Alumni Association. Dr. Rasmussen graduated from the IU School of Dentistry in 1986 and has practiced in Crawfordsville, Indiana for the past 33 years. He has served as a delegate and trustee of the Indiana University, of the Indiana Dental Association, and all offices of the Ben Hur Component Dental Society. He is a pilot and has served on the board of directors of the Crawfordsville Municipal Airport. He also enjoyed, enjoys golf, tennis, fishing, and snow skiing. He's been married to his wife, Jean, for 35 years, and they have three sons. Uh, one of his sons, Caleb, graduated from IU Bloomington in 2016. Dr. Rasmussen, welcome to our commencement ceremony. Thank you, Dean Williams. Class of 2019, I bring you greetings and congratulations from your Indiana University School of Dentistry Alumni Association. My name again is Steve Rasmussen and I am honored to be here tonight with you to share in this momentous occasion. As president of the IU School of Dentistry Alumni Association, I have the privilege of officially welcoming you to the alumni ranks. As you prepare for the next phase of your life, remember that as an IU School of Dentistry graduate, your fellow alumni are here to support you. We encourage you to stay connected to your classmates and your school. While your journey is, your current journey is now ending, a new journey is just beginning. And as you start this new journey, you will be faced with many decisions. So I will leave you with a quote from Theodore Roosevelt. In any moment of decision, the best thing to do is the right thing. The next best thing to do is the wrong thing. And the worst thing to do is to do nothing. God bless and great success in your future. Thank you, Dr. Rasmussen. It's now my pleasure to welcome Dr. Stephen Ellen Wood, President-elect of the Indiana Dental Association. 
Dr. Ellen Wood graduated from the IU School of Dentistry in 1985. There's start, a pattern starting to develop here, I believe, 86, 85, and has been in general practice in Fort Wayne, Indiana. He's associate faculty at the IU Fort Wayne uh, campus in the dental education department. His wife, Laura, graduated from the IU School of Dentistry dental hygiene program in 1987. His daughter, Alexa, graduated from the Dental Laboratory Technology Program at IUP, IU uh, Fort Wayne in 2014, and his son, uh, Charles, better known as Chase, uh, is in the DDS class of 2019. Dr. Allenwood is a graduate of the Coy Center and co-founder with uh, Psoriasis, um, a 501c3 company which provides dental care in developing countries. He's also president of the school board for the Medina Village School, a missionary elementary school in Sierra Salone, West Africa. Dr. Ellen, uh, Ellenwood is floor leader for the seventh district delegation to the American Dental Association. He served as a seventh district representative to the membership council of the ADA, and he's been awarded fellowships in the International College of Dentists, the American College of Dentists, and the Pierre Fouchard Academy and is a member of the Academy of General Dentistry. Please welcome Dr. Ellen Wood. Hello and good afternoon. 2019 Indiana University School of Dentistry graduates, Dean Williams, faculty, staff, team members, family, friends, greetings from the Indiana Dental Association. I'm Steve Ellenwood, President-Elect of the Indiana Dental Association, and thank you for inviting me. It's been honored to bring these greetings. As you have heard, this is a very special day for our family. My son, Chase Ellenwood, is graduating, and we're very excited about that. And you've heard the long history of family that we have in the dental field. You far forgot three, though, that I thought I should bring up. And actually, another one's here. It's my father-in-law, Dr. Charles Smith, graduated in what was that, 1961, is that correct, Chuck? You're down there over there, thank you. And also I have a sister-in-law who graduated from the dental hygiene program in 1978 and a niece who graduated from the dental hygiene program in 2003. You can imagine what our Thanksgiving dinners are like. <laughs> With all that family history, I consider myself somewhat of an expert on you graduates or what you graduates are about to experience in your dental career. But according to Herbert Prochow, a noted bank executive and author of several Toastmaster books, an expert is a person who takes something you knew already and makes it sound confusing. Hopefully I will not do that. There are many paths that you will follow after today. Solo practice, private practice, group practice, residency, academia. All are exciting and fulfilling choices in your new profession. We from the Indiana Dental Association and the American Dental Association are here to provide the resources for you to help you make and develop a smooth career transition. We are 152,000 dentists practicing in the United States and abroad. We want to partner with you to represent the best in patient dental care. Being an expert, I have advice for you. Take a deep breath today, enjoy the moment. You have all worked hard to reach this point. Time in lecture halls, labs, clinic floors, and even the library. You even survived a major remodel of your school while you were there. All this time for this opportunity to graduate and enjoy the work of your chosen profession. The time will go quickly from now on. Who knows, in 30 years, you too may be standing here with, with a son or a daughter graduating from this school. Enjoy the moment. It's an exciting and marvelous opportunity that you start today. I can honestly tell you that the excitement you graduates feel today, you can experience many times over while practicing dentistry. And when you help someone improve their dental health, what is, it's not glamorous, as you know, by spending time in the clinic, but I can tell you that I enjoy practicing every single day. The interaction with people, the happiness of improving patients' lives is real, and you're gonna experience this and more. As you begin your individual journey, it is important to remember the organization that wants to support you. Another quote that I heard the other day that I think is appropriate, and I'm not sure who to credit on this one, 
But I did find out it was from a, a country dentist in Alabama several years ago. The saying was, the only banana that gets peeled is the one that leaves the bunch. I'll repeat that to let that soak in. The only banana that gets peeled is the one that leaves the bunch. Trust me, it took me a while to think about it too. Together as a bunch, we can, no matter what your practice setting, continue to provide the best in health care and to work to mitigate outside influences, influences who feel they know better how to provide dental care. Nobody knows dentistry better than us. Our impact is much better as a bunch. Finally, one last thought about your destiny in dentistry. A, a quote from Albert Schweitzer, a noted theologian and philosopher. I don't know what your destiny will be, but one thing I know, the only ones among you who will really be happy are those who have sought and found how to serve. Serve your community, your patients, your family, and your friends. Be excited about your destiny. Do your best every day. The Indiana Dental Association, myself, and the vast dental family congratulate you and good luck. Thank you, Dr. Ellen Wood. It's now my pleasure to welcome Ms. Heather Taylor, president of the Indiana Dental Hygienist Association. Uh, Heather has worked as a licensed uh, dental hygienist for 13 years. She's worked in a variety of settings, private practice, public health, and education. In fact, she was a full-time faculty member here at IU School of Dentistry for three years before she began pursuing her doctoral degree in public health. She's currently a PhD student at the IU Fairbanks School of Public Health and a National Library of Medicine Public and Population Health Informatics Fellow. Welcome, Ms. Taylor. I'm proud of you. Uh, greetings from the Indiana Dental Hygienists Association. It's an honor and privilege to be here today to congratulate the class of 2019. What an amazing accomplishment to celebrate. Today marks a significant milestone on your path to provide dental care in your community. May you never lose sight of what is truly important in healthcare, and that is, of course, the patients. Now, specifically to my esteemed hygienist, way to go, I'm so proud of you. I know how hard you each worked to get to this point, I've been there. So I know what you put in, and I'm really proud of you. Um, it's an honor to call you now my peer and my colleague. And the Indiana Dental Hygienists Association would like to welcome you into an amazing profession that is built on disease prevention and health promotion. So personally, I, of course, think you chose an excellent profession, but of course I'm biased. Um, but I don't just say that because I love what I do and I've been a hygienist for many years. I also say that because I foresee great changes in healthcare delivery in the future. As you know, the US government is undergoing a massive paradigm shift in how they reimburse the delivery of healthcare. More investments are being made annually to changing the healthcare system so that governments and payers reimburse the value of care rather than the volume of care. This equates to reimbursing clinicians on their ability to prevent disease and maintain health in their patient rather than for the number of services, tests, or treatments they provide. Now, while these changes are primarily happening in the medical profession, it is only a matter of time before dentistry, too, must face prevention-based reimbursement models. This will no doubt drive demand for your skills as hygienist and prevention specialist. In addition, the level of evidence that grows demonstrating that poor oral health is related to negative systemic disease outcomes in diseases such as diabetes and cardiovascular diseases will likely um, motivate physicians to be more interested in incorporating oral health and well-being into their chronic disease management strategies for their patients. So see, the potential for your career is so great and really exciting, and it will keep your career interesting and of value. Consider joining this association so that you have a voice in how we design dental disease prevention of the future. 
Once again, congratulations to all. I'm so very excited to see the future unfold for each of you. Welcome to the profession. Enjoy this moment. You deserve it. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Taylor. It's now my pleasure to welcome Mr. Jacob Rixing, president of the Indiana Dental Assistance Association. In 2014, Mr. Rexing earned the Associate of Science in Dental Assisting from the University of Southern Indiana. He graduated from the um, University of Southern Indiana in 2015 with a Bachelor of Arts in German Studies, followed by a Bachelor of Science in Dental Hygiene in 2016. While in college, he was president of the student chapter of the American Dental Assistance Association. He was elected as the sixth district trustee for the American Dental Assistance Association this past year, which serves dental assistance in the states of Michigan, Illinois, and Indiana. He is also an adjunct faculty member of the University of Southern Indiana Dental Hygiene Clinic. Please welcome Mr. Ressing. Thank you, Dean Williams. It is a pleasure to be here with all of you on this momentous occasion. You've all accomplished a great achievement and should be so proud. Your passion, drive, work ethic has led you to this place in your life. Continue to keep up these great qualities as you go forth as a dental professional or you continue your education. Strive to be the best every day because when we are successful, we are not the only ones who benefit. Our patients reap the most benefits from our excellent success. When you have the hardest dental surgeries that keep you an extra hour at the office, or the most challenging scaling and root planning of your career, remember these hardest days, your hard work is improving the lives of those in your care. Enjoy the challenges and treat each patient with the individuality they deserve, and you'll be happy to wake up and go to work every day. On behalf of the Indiana Dental Assisting Association and the American Dental Assistance Association, I would like to congratulate you all on this wonderful achievement and welcome you into the dental community. Your hard work and perseverance has truly paid off. I wish you all the best on your future endeavors. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Rexine. I would now like to uh, call on uh, my dear uh, colleague and friend um, to introduce our keynote speaker. This is myself, right? Okay. Just, just sit down. All right, okay. Good evening. I think it turned from afternoon into evening. I'm Michael Kavalik. I'm the Executive Associate Dean and, uh, as Dean Williams says, a close colleague. We meet pretty well every day. I want to welcome everyone here, congratulate the graduates, of course, their families, friends, everyone who supported them, and, of course, my colleagues seated here and the others who, who can't be here. Every year, Every year at this occasion, we invite a distinguished colleague, a person from the community, or someone related to dentistry, to impart words of wisdom to all of you, to carry away. Well, you've already heard a lot of words of wisdom this evening, but we are going to look for a few more. As you know, or most of you should know, Dean Williams will be stepping down as dean at the end of June. He's had quite a record here. He was charged by the Chancellor when he was appointed to build a new building, enhance our research mission, and increase, increase the lines of income, and he's done all of those things. And of course, I hope many of you have seen, well, those of you who've worked in the Fritz building, but the visitors today, I hope you had a chance to have a look. You may have noticed by now he likes numbers. Those who've worked, of us who've worked closely with him over the last few years know he really likes numbers, right? Money, numbers, student numbers, all sorts of numbers. You've heard a few today, 140, 250, what was it, 85, 86. He throws these numbers out all the time, but he knows what they mean. Well, I have a number for him today. By the way, if anybody here ever remembers seeing um, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, remember the number? It was 42. You probably don't remember the question. I see lots of blank faces. It goes back too far. It was, what is the meaning of life? It was 42. But today the number is nine. And I'll explain why I think the number of nine is important. At the end of 2009, Dean Williams was appointed by then Chancellor Charles Bantz to the deanship of this school, the third deanship 
in fact, he is held. He became the ninth dean of our dental school. And this year, in 2019, he completes nine years as dean of the dental school. So I think there's something in the number nine there. In certain aspects of Chinese culture, nine is a very lucky number, and people who are endowed with the lucky number nine are said to have humanity, generosity of heart, and they're dreamers. And I think we've seen that in Dean Williams. So one thing we will say to him is that we want him to keep on dreaming because I think his dreams take flight and then they come down to land in some very interesting places. So it's my distinct honor and pleasure this evening to introduce our keynote speaker for this year, Dean John Williams. The title of my talk this evening is Embrace Your Future. Embrace Your Future. It's a great honor and privilege that I address the graduating students of 2019 on this occasion of the, 2000, of the 141st commencement for the dental school and my ninth year, there's a theme here, unrehearsed by the way, uh, to serve this school in its long and illustrious history. It was 39 years ago, another nine, when I was seated right where you are, ready to launch into my own career and pursue my professional journey. And I want to speak to all of you, all of our graduates, about a very important theme, a very important concept, and that is embracing your future. But first, some history. And I enjoy history. And Indiana University School of Dentistry is one of the older dental schools in the United States for those members of the audience who aren't aware of our history. And I'm very privileged that we have a rich library and we have a lot of artifacts that have supported the growth and development of oral health care through research and service and education for many, many years. So let's start with the year of 1879. The Indiana Dental College, uh, as we were known then, enrolled six members of a student body, three juniors and three seniors, who were taught primarily by part-time faculty. Now consider in the year 1879, there were two bright beginnings. The first was Thomas Edison, and we know what he did, right? He developed the light bulb. The second was the founding of the Indiana Dental College which was eventually acquired by Indiana University in 1925. Let me see by show of hands, how many IU grads are in the audience today? Let's see a show of hands, Indiana, regardless of your campus, and wave to us. We have a few back here too, you, you all count. Great, so Indiana University is fairly pervasive, but Indiana University bought the dental school for $35,000, which, to give our audience members some perspective, is less than the cost of one student's in-state tuition today. <laughs> Amazing. So how did one qualify to go to dental school in that era? It helped if candidates were already busy practicing dentistry, uh, if they'd managed a reputable practice for a few years, and if they had a few years of, of uh, study under a competent dentist, uh, they could enter the school uh, as advanced students. And certainly requirements have changed since that time in the past 140 years. The school's mission statement in 1879 stated, it must be understood by all that the prime objective of the Indiana Dental College is to teach students to become competent, there's that word you heard yet today, and gentlemanly, gentlemanly practitioners of dentistry. But just one year later, the college uh, acquiesced and invited a lady student to join in their uh, institution. By the early 1900s, the dental school had a talented basketball team called the Dents. This is Indiana, of course, right? We have to have a basketball team. They played Butler, Wabash, DePaul, and other college teams around the state. 
In the 140 years, the school has had six Indianapolis locations, including today's site on the IUPUI campus. The facility that was built in 1933 cost $300,000. Um, and in contrast, the James J. Fritz DDS Clinical Care Center cost $26 million for building and equipment. Although you wouldn't know it to look around at the DDS class in 2019, which is comprised of 53% women. Well, let's hear that. Woo, all right. You can roar a little bit. That's okay, ladies, that's all right. Catch this fact, between 1879 and 1974, more than 5,000 men graduated and just 56 women, less than 1%, or about 1% earned their dental degree. So I share this rich history to il illustrate that our dental school has embraced its future, embraced its future, made changes to be relevant, to be committed to preparing graduates at the highest level to achieve the overall oral health improvements of Indiana citizens and beyond. Graduates, you should be proud of your history, of your institution, and confident in the fact that you are prepared as competent gentlemanly and gentlewomanly, if I said that right, graduates, men and women of science. IUSD has grown and is now committed, uh, as it has been, to serving the people of Indiana and well beyond throughout uh, the U.S. and internationally through our excellence in education, research, and patient care. I can attest to the quality of two graduates that were very instrumental to our family um, here in Indiana, Dr. Max Sherman of Newcastle and Dr. John Reichley Sr. of Connersville. Today, graduation is about an end to a required course of study. But it's more than that. It is your commencement day, your beginning, a day to look forward, a day to embrace your future. There are three points I want to get across. First, you've received a world-class education. All members of our respective programs, a world-class education. Our faculty and staff are committed to excellence in teaching and have expected a lot from each of you these past several years. The provision of high quality health care demands much and our faculty expect much in order for you to clearly demonstrate your competence to earn the privilege of independent practice. Leave this place knowing you are well prepared as a safe beginner, but your learning is just commencing. You have the responsibility to yourself and to society to continue learning throughout your lifetime. Never stop learning. Second, embody professionalism in everything you do. As you will quickly learn along the professional journey, you have more scientific and technical skills. You have critical thinking and problem solving skills and hence the under underpinning of evidence-based practice and evidence-based decision-making. So use them on a wide variety of issues that we have in society to make a huge difference in our world. It's so easy to grow comfortable in one's practice situation without becoming larger, a, a part of the larger solution to complex local and global problems. Reach out, get involved, serve on community boards, in civic organizations, get into politics, serve as part of your religious or faith-based community. Over the years, I have known mayors, city council members, school board members, local health department uh, board members, church leaders, all types of individuals with an oral health care perspective who are deeply invested in not only providing oral health care, but making their local, state, national, and international places much better for all. At all times, conduct yourself with honor, integrity, and dignity to embody professionalism in everything that you do. Thirdly, give back to society. To one who is gra granted much, much is expected. The profession of dentistry affords us much, and in turn, we must continually be seen as positively contributing to society. 
Obviously, we do this by the provision of the highest quality oral health care, but there's more to be done. Find your passion, become fully engaged in giving back of your time, talent, and treasure. Make your community a better place, and of course, support the School of Dentistry when you have reduced your student loans, started planning for your retirement. Did that ring a bell? I taught these guys to practice management. I want to see if they learned anything, right? And then support your philanthropic groups, including the school. So the school has come a long way in its rich, uh, rich and illustrious history since 1879. We're very pleased to add your names to the alumni role to mo memorialize your presence with us. And I, along with the faculty, expect great things for, for this day forth as you embrace your future in 2019. On a personal note, I thank each member of the DDS class of 2019 who's helped me better understand our educational and challenges. The conversations we had in class were very informative and I've taken those and, and we have been able to modify a number of things uh, at the school. And while we're not perfect, we're on a journey to continually improve what we do each and every semester as we embrace our own future at IUSD. As Dr. Kowalik mentioned, uh, I too will be graduating in a few weeks, uh, graduating from the, from the deanship. And I'll be re-embrace uh, my own future during an administrative leave by piloting our boat 6,000 miles through the central Midwest, Great Lakes, Atlantic uh, Intercoastal, and Gulf of Mexico. This will be a great opportunity for personal adventure, contemplation, and exploration but I'll also be conducting research on the cost of dental education as there happen to be 23 dental schools along our planned route. And it's been an honor and privilege to serve as a dean of this great universe, of this university and school of dentistry for the past nine years. And I know it will continue to thrive and to grow under the leadership of our new dean. So in five years, two years, 10 years, 20 years, when someone says, what was your, what did your commencement speaker talk about? Uh, the year that you graduated from dental school, many of you say, I don't know, something. Here are three points that you can, you can take home. First, build on your excellent world-class IU education. Never stop learning. Second, embody professionalism in everything you do. And third, give back to society. We're counting on you. So today, your journey is ready to begin. Well, actually, it officially begins tomorrow when President McRobbie confers your degree at the IUPUI campus-wide ceremony. But for now, relish this moment you've worked so hard to achieve. The faculty and I are very proud of you and wish you the very best as you embrace your new future. Good luck, class of 2019. That was a reset. Did you like that? Good. The dean's back up here now. The IUSD family deeply appreciates the efforts of our United States Armed Service members. Uh, at this time, I'd like to recognize our Doctor of Dental Surgery candidates uh, who recently were commissioned into the United States uh, Armed Services. The commissioning was conducted during a private ceremony last evening with family and friends jointly with the IU School of Medicine. I, I would like uh, these three individuals to stand and be recognized. Uh, please, if you hold your applause until the third is called. Uh, Forrest Fullenkamp and Elena Weiser were commissioned as captains in the United States Army. Forrest, where's Forrest? All right over here, thank you. Also commissioned as a lieutenant in the United States Navy was Joshua Korshinsky. And Josh, you stand. Round of applause for these individuals. You all may remain standing. 
There we go. It's good. Following directions. That's good. We also have a number of other individuals uh, in the class who have uh, active and retired uh, U.S. military status, and I'd like to recognize them as well. Uh, please stand as I call your name. Uh, Rachel Perini, a public health in, the United, in uh, dental hygiene, is a retired staff sergeant in the U.S. Air Force. Great. John Gutterman II, the second, a doctor of dental surgery, is a lieutenant in the United States uh, National Guard. <laughs> William Haunt the third, doctor of dental surgery, retired surgeon, the U.S. sergeant in the U.S. Army. <laughs> Leslie Johnson, doctor of dental surgery, a retired staff sergeant in the U.S. Air Force. Leslie. Joseph Thompson, doctor of dental surgery candidate, is a captain in the U.S. Army National Guard. And Jaron May, master of science, is a lieutenant commander in the U.S. Navy. Jaron with us. That's great. Round of applause. Thank you for your service. Now you may be seated. It's now time in our program to award certificates and diplomas. You thought this was never coming, right? <laughs> That's why you're all here. We have to have all this other fanfare, so we're getting ready. Uh, to our dental assisting, dental hygiene, doctor of dental surgery, uh, master's and PhD uh, graduates. Various faculty members will join me to congratulate the candidates as they come forward. Presenting all candidates is Dr. Paul Edwards, Senior Associate Dean for Academic Affairs. Dr. Edwards, would you stand and be recognized? At this time, I would invite Professor Pamela Ford and Professor Melissa Brown to join me in presenting the certificates in dental assisting. Professor Ford is the director of the dental assisting program, and Professor Brown serves as faculty for the dental assisting distance learning program. Dr. Edwards. Will the candidates for the certificate in dental assisting please rise? Dean Williams, it is an honor to present to you the 2019 certificate candidates in dental assisting. Will the candidates please come forward? Taylor Almeida. Blaze Botorf. Deborah Ann Claiborne. Keely Mackenzie Fries. Tessa Girdler. Jared Scott Herzl. Danielle Jackson. Devon Lancaster. Abby Land. Noon Len. Lila Nuring. Courtney O'Brien. Elizabeth Orr. Alexa Parker. Kelly Philpot. Madeline Kate Rich. Sierra A. Taylor. Lachlan Jennings Thompson. Sophia Louise Twadal. <clears throat> the 
Thank you, Professor Ford and Professor Brown. I now invite uh, Mr. Jacob uh, Rexing to come to the podium and lead our dental assisting graduates as they recite the Dental Assistance Pledge. Dental assisting graduates, please stand. Now let us recite the pledge together. In my practice as a dental assistant, I affirm my commitment to improve the oral health of the public and to promote high standards of quality dental care. I shall faithfully respect the principles of professional ethics by the profession. I pledge to continually improve my professional knowledge and skills and to uphold the highest standards of professional competence and professional personal conduct in the interest of the dental assisting profession and the public I serve. You may be seated. Thank you, Mr. Rexing. I now invite Professor Elisa Maxwell and Professor Pamela Reddig to assist me in congratulating the, the candidates for the Associate Degree of Dental Hygiene Bachelor of Science in Dental Hygiene and Bachelor of Science in Public Health Dental Hygiene. Professor Maxwell serves as director of the Dental Hygiene Program and Professor Reddig serves as faculty in the program. Dr. Edwards. Will the candidate for the degree for Associate in Science Dental Hygiene please rise. Dean Williams, it is an honor to present to you the 2019 Associate Degree in Dental Hygiene candidate. Will the candidate please come forward? Stacy Mitcher. <laughs> Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Dental Hygiene please rise? <laughs> Dean Williams, it is an honor to present to you the 2019 Bachelor of Science dental hygiene candidates. Will the candidates please come forward? Micah Brianne Abernathy. Umeris Martinez. <laughs> Colleen Cummings Beckner. <laughs> Marissa Cornwell. <laughs> Rachel Ann Perini. Shook K. Song. <laughs> Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Public Health Dental Hygiene please rise? Okay. Okay. They were included in the last group. They were. We're very efficient. We're yeah. moving right along here. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Maxwell and Professor Redding. Round of applause for our graduates. I now invite uh, Ms. Heather Taylor back to the podium to lead our dental hygiene graduates as they recite the dental hygienist pledge found in your program. Ms. Taylor. 
Thank you. Flips over there, so. Dental hygiene graduates, please stand. Now let us recite the pledge together nice and loud, okay? <laughs> In my practice as a dental hygienist, I affirm my personal and professional commitment to improve the oral health of the public, to advance the art and science of dental hygiene, and to promote high standards of quality care. I pledge continually to improve my professional knowledge and skills, to render a full measure of service to each patient entrusted to my care, and to uphold the highest standards of professional competence and personal conduct in the interest of the dental hygiene profession and the public it serves. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you, Ms. Taylor. Now we move to our DDS candidates and graduates. The placement of the lilac hood symbolizes the entry of our Doctor of Dental Surgery graduates into the dental profession. The graduating class has selected four members of the IUSD faculty to participate in their hooding. These faculty members are individuals whom the graduates believe have made significant contributions to their educational experience while they're at the dental school. I would ask these faculty to rise, come forward, and be recognized as I call your names. Dr. Daniel Bennett. Dr. Philip Rake. Dr. Michael Savanich. And Dr. Ned Warner. Quite a fan club, this is good, this is good. In addition to these faculty members, we have invited participants who are family members of the learned professions to assist in the hooding ceremony of the DDS class of 2019. These individuals are, are seated over on the far left, my left, and I would invite you to stand and be recognized and thank you for being with us for this momentous occasion. At this time, I would invite Dr. Harvey Weingarten, uh, Associate Dean for Clinical Affairs, and Dr. Melanie Peterson, Associate Dean for Admissions and Student Affairs, to join me in congratulating the Doctor of Dental Surgery candidates as they come forward. Dr. Edwards. Will the candidates for the Doctor of Dental Surgery please rise? Dean Williams, it is a, a real honor to present to you the 2019 candidates for the Doctor of Dental Surgery degree. Will the first row of candidates please come forward? Dr. Nasheed Ahmed. Dr. Ahmad. Alaze. <laughs> Dr. Rod Eldorage. <laughs> Dr. Manit Aurora. Dr. Andrew Robert Bartels. Dr. Carrie Benjamin.
Dr. Keikel Barucha. Dr. Kalissa Bontrager. Dr. Jordan Booth. Dr. Scott Bowersox. Dr. Christopher Brodowitz. <laughs> Dr. Casey Merritt Chandler. Dr. Ilwan Chang. Dr. John Chow. Dr. Christopher Thomas Chisler. Dr. Kelly Chong. Dr. Catherine Coughlin. <laughs> Dr. Clarissa Collier. Dr. Jordan Conover. Dr. Andrew Corrado. Dr. Tanner Lane Crandall. Dr. Caleb Daniel Davis. Dr. Jothri Papanaiju Tonkor. Dr. Benjamin John Dekoff. Dr. Dino Jacquard Dieudonné. Dr. Jamie Ray Diamond. Dr. Charles Chase Ellenwood. Dr. Cheryl Sue Ellison. Dr. Catherine Ferry. Dr. Rabian A. Frazier, Jr. Dr. Forrest Fullenkamp. <laughs> Dr.
Dr. Robert Geis. Dr. Ross David Gibson. Dr. Erjun Gohel. Dr. John David Gutterman II. Dr. Catherine M. Hobble. Dr. William Frederick Haunt. Dr. Lauren Stephanie Hansen. Dr. Kyle Harrison. Dr. Sarah Haswinkle. Dr. Syed Hassan. Dr. Marion F. Hedger. Dr. Eric Hill. Dr. Brian J. Hogberg. Dr. Robert Holland. Dr. Priyanka H. Shashagiri. Dr. Sarah Jackson. <laughs> Dr. Leslie Johnson. Dr. Abigail A. Jumak. Dr. Janine Kabir. Dr. Rajpreet Kaur. Dr. Jong Hwa Kim. Dr. Sung Jong Kim. Dr. Pinky Kingrani. <laughs> Dr. Nicholas Charles Kohler.
Dr. Nirat Niranjani Krothopali. Dr. John Michael Krumenaker. Dr. Joshua Adam Krushinsky. <laughs> Dr. Kyle Kuzmik. Dr. G. U. Lee. Dr. Morgan Layton. Dr. Thomas Roger Lemons. Dr. Nisa Kiani Liberty. Dr. Natalie Josephine Lorenzano. Dr. Connor Love. Dr. Shanika Maddox. Dr. Stephen Magura. Dr. Mark McDonough. Dr. Lena Mershow. Dr. Tanner Jameson Mitchell. Dr. Mumal Multani. Dr. Janet Venuya Numgrampa. Dr. Yuri Namkung. Dr. Landon Oka. Dr. James Michael Purley. Dr. Juliana Marie Pikus. Dr. Megan Ireland Poti.
Dr. Allie Ricker. Dr. Joseph Rito. <laughs> Dr. Luke Rogers. Dr. Molly Kathleen Sanders. Dr. Brooke Nicole Scott. <laughs> Dr. Needy Shaw. Dr. Gurpreet Shahi. <laughs> Dr. Christopher Sosinski. <laughs> Dr. Payal Singh. Dr. Prerana Singh. Dr. Rebecca Lynn Spearman. Dr. Sable Stoller. Dr. Jill Marie Stetzel. <laughs> Dr. Benjamin Michael Stoll. <laughs> Dr. R.J. Stewart. Dr. Lois Mary Sunny. Dr. Joseph Thompson. Dr. Nicholas Torrance. Dr. Olivia Rebecca Transick. <laughs> Dr. Elizabeth Van. Dr. Alberto Vargas Martinez. <laughs> Dr. Pramila Venapusala.
Dr. Kimberly M. Wallach. Dr. Ellen Lang Walker. Dr. Riley Mimi Walker. Dr. Alec Douglas Willard. Dr. Michael Wyrie. Dr. Elena Weiser. Dr. Joshua Wallhandler. Dr. Lauren Christie Wright. Dr. Swadi Yadav. Dr. Cyrene Yang. Dr. Sergey Ivanovich Zakharov. Dr. Harris Zia. Congrats. Dr. Eli Zipkin. I would like to thank Dr. Bennett, Dr. Rake, Dr. Savanich, Dr. Warner, Dr. Weingarten, and Dr. Peterson for your assistance uh, with the awarding of degrees and the hooding of our uh, graduates. DDS graduates, one more round of applause, class of 2019. I now invite Dr. Steve Ellenwood to come to the podium again and lead our Doctor of Dental Surgery graduates as they recite the DDS uh, pledge. Dr. Ellenwood. Thank you. Doctor of Dental Surgery graduates, please stand. I believe it's on page 24 in your bulletin. I'll give you a second. Now, let us recite the pledge together. I, as a member of the dental profession, shall keep this pledge and these stipulations. I understand and accept that my primary responsibility is to my patients, and I shall dedicate myself to render, to the best of my ability, the highest standard of oral health care, and to maintain a relationship of respect and confidence. Therefore, let all come to me safe in the knowledge that their total health and well-being are my first consideration. 
I shall accept the responsibility that as a professional, my competence rests on the continued attainment of knowledge and skills in the art and science of dentistry. I acknowledge my obligation to support and sustain the honor and integrity of the profession and to conduct myself in all endeavors such that I shall merit the respect of patients, colleagues, and my community. I further commit myself to betterment of my community for the benefit of all society. I shall faithfully observe the principles of ethics and code of professional conduct set forth by all the profession. All this I pledge with my pride and my commitment to the profession and the public as it serves. Thank you. Dean Williams. Thank you, Dr. Ellen Wood. At this time, I invite Dr. Richard Gregory and Dr. Michael Kowalik to join me in presenting the Master of Science of Dentistry degrees and certificates. Dr. Gregory serves as Associate Dean for Graduate Education and Director of the PhD program. And Dr. Kowalik, uh, did you previously have met, is the Executive Associate Dean and Associate Dean for Faculty Affairs and Global Engagement. Dr. Edwards. Will the candidates for the certificate or Master of Science in Dentistry degrees with specialization in cariology, operative dentistry, dental materials, endodontics, maxillofacial prosthetics, operative dentistry, oral and maxillofacial surgery, orthodontics, pediatric dentistry, periodontics, or prostodontics, please rise. Dean Williams, it is an honor to present to you the 2019 candidates for a certificate or Master of Science in Dentistry. Will the candidates please come forward? Dr. Sultan Imad Anusa. Dr. Abdulaziz Al Sharani. Dr. Ahmed Amir Al Sharani. Dr. Gadir Saleh Al Wadai. Dr. Apoor Goyal. Dr. Brenda Haynes. Dr. Ahmed Ibrahim. Dr. Jean Kim. Dr. Minareen Pani Toigun. Dr. Siras Sankotpriha. Dr. Anna Karina Thorne. Dr. Yu Ting Ye. At this time, I would like to invite Dr. Gregory and Dr. Angelis Martinez-Mir uh, to join me in assisting in draping the hood for the candidate for the Doctor of Philosophy in Dental Science degree. 
Dr. Martinez Mayer is Professor and Chair of the Department of Cariology, Operative Dentistry, and Dental Public Health. Dr. Edwards. Will the candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy in Dental Science please rise? Dean Williams, it is an honor to present to you the 2019 candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy degree. Will the candidates please come forward? Dr. Aza Ahmed. <laughs> Dr. Parand Sordini. Thank you, Dr. Edwards, Dr. Kowalik, Dr. Gregory, and Dr. Martinez Mayor. It's now my honor to welcome a talented group of musicians from the IU Bloomington campus. Singing in our alma mater, and I would welcome uh, the Indiana University Jacobs School of Music a cappella ensemble. For those of you who don't have these words memorized. They're on the back of your program. And of course, all of the 2019 graduates have, them, have the words memorized, right? Embracing your future, memorizing the words. Please.
soft and fresh men all together we sound the chorus loud and glorious state university glory on our friendship on Special thanks to the Indiana University Jacobs School of Music uh, Acapella Assembly for a warm and heartfelt rendition of Old IU. As we near the conclusion of our ceremony, it has been an absolute pleasure and honor to serve as dean for the past nine years. I'd remind us that never again will all of us be together in this same place. Cherish this moment, reflect on your many years together, stay in touch with us, and importantly, embrace your future. It's very bright. I'm very proud of each of you. I have a special appreciation to the faculty uh, who have done such tremendous work here and continue to do such tremendous work. To the parents, family, friends, thank you also for supporting our graduates, and thank you for being with us today. Please continue your involvement with the school through the IU Alumni uh, Association, all right, Dr. Rasmussen? And continue to look for opportunities to learn. I'd like to thank our faculty marshal, Dr. Jack Windsor, uh, our student ambassadors in the Crimson uh, Blazers, and our staff from the Office of Academic Programs for assisting us today. As we conclude our ceremonies, I request the audience remain seated uh, in the ballroom while the platform party, faculty, special guests, and graduates exit the ballroom. And we're going out that way. All other uh, graduate guests may then exit. And now, a special appreciation to the White River Brass uh, who have provided our music. Um, gentlemen, we are ready for the recessional. Mm -hmm. 